Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if you are new. And if you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I'm trying to get to 25,000 subscribers by November 25th. And I feel like we can totally do it. So help a sister out, subscribe down below. Today I'm filming a keto grocery haul. I have done the keto diet in the past and I'm actually gonna link down below my updated health journey. If you guys have watched me um, since last July, you would know that I started my journey with Orange Theory and that kind of kick-started my health journey. Um, but I haven't really been eating that good. Like even though I was working out pretty hard, like three times a week with Orange Theory, I wasn't eating good because my mentality was like, oh, well, since you're working out, you can eat whatever you want. And I really regret thinking like that because I feel like I would have looked so much better and really seen incredible results if I you know, ate well and worked out. In my health journey, I actually talk about how I wanted to quit Orange Theory. Um, I'm currently on a pause, so I did sign up at another gym, Lifetime Fitness for now, and we'll see how that goes, but I did wanna kind of eat a little bit better, um, and so I thought I should just try the keto diet again. I actually tried it in college and I really liked it. I only did it for two weeks and saw incredible results so i'm really excited to do it again i'm gonna stop rambling but definitely check those health journey videos out down below i ordered from amazon fresh so they're currently in their bags and they need to go in the fridge asap so let's get started so this keto grocery haul is for those beginners that don't really know what to buy so i am not going to go in any order just because they're all in different bags we're going to start with the first bag it didn't really have too much in it but these are my i think they're like large eggs they're brown cage-free eggs and they're large grade a and then we have some shredded low moisture part skim mozzarella cheese what's really cool about amazon fresh is that you can search for keto foods so i did that and found some really cool things that i probably wouldn't have known about so from the second bag we have some loaded cauliflower with white cheddar and uncured bacon um so this sounds super good and it only has four carbs per serving, which is like two thirds cup. Next up is zucchini spirals. And it's great that this is frozen because I feel like I have a lot of fresh foods that are gonna go bad. So I can leave this for like next week or even the week after that. The last thing in the second bag are these Johnsonville Vermont maple syrup breakfast sausages. And I've been eating, I don't know what the brand is, but they were these sausages that you would literally just microwave for like two minutes and they would be good to go. But they kind of started grossing me out because they just felt like I was eating such like gross processed, like, I don't know. So I just got new sausage and I feel like this looks a little bit better and like, more real, but this one you actually have to prepare on the stove top or the oven, but I feel like the extra work will be worth it because they look a lot better than the other sausage I had. So like I said, I did keto back in college and it was like the beginning of college. So now I'm one year out, which makes that four or three years since I've done the keto diet. So I definitely still need to educate myself um, on what I can eat and what I can't eat. But for now, I feel like I have a pretty good idea. I will say that I'm probably gonna try to do the moderate keto diet, which isn't as strict. So that means I can have some carbs. It's crazy to think that like some of the things that you think are healthy have carbs in them, like like some vegetables. I'm pretty sure like carrots have carbs and then definitely fruit has carbs, which sucks because I feel like I would totally love to go on a fruit diet. There are some fruits that are low in carbs, um, which I got and I'll show you obviously. But for vegetables, I got some trimmed green beans because I love to eat them with butter and garlic and just like saute them. They are so yummy. Next, I got some heavy whipping cream. And if you are on the keto diet, you probably have like stocks of heavy whipping cream. And honestly, I wanted a bigger carton, but they didn't have a bigger carton on Amazon Fresh. You can make so many desserts with heavy whipping cream, like um, sugar-free uh, mousse or something. I can't really remember the other things. I'm definitely gonna try to attempt some low carb creme brulee. I already looked up some recipes and I ordered a sugar substitute. So I'm really hyped about that and heavy whipping cream will be my lifesaver when it comes to sweet things. I got some string cheese. I remember this being like my go-to on the go snack when I did keto the first time. I bought some bacon. I got the Jimmy Dean premium bacon hickory smoked flavor. I got some chicken thighs because I wanted to get a lot of meat for dinners and just lunches. I could probably meal prep the chicken and use it in a bunch of different dishes, but I used to love chicken when I was little, but now I feel like I don't love it as much as other um, kind of meats. And it sucks because I feel like chicken is probably one of the 
least expensive meats. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong about that. But if you guys have any recipes for just like marinating chicken or just chicken recipes in general that are keto, please leave them in the comments down below or DM me on Instagram. Feel free to send me any of your keto recipes through my Instagram DMs because I will definitely be, you know, playing around with everything that I got. And I still have some coming from Amazon that weren't on Amazon Fresh. So at the end of this video, I'll go through everything I bought from Amazon. So if you are keto, you'll know exactly what to buy. Moving on to the next bag, I see we're getting into some fruits. So I bought some blackberries and these look so big and good. I feel like I haven't had a good blackberry in a while because they started getting bitter for some reason, but these look very big and juicy. And then obviously I had to buy raspberries. I love raspberries and I always get them when I'm grocery shopping. I got some Brussels sprouts. I actually do have an air fryer and I tried air frying these and they were so, so good. I topped them off with like this balsamic um, what's it called glaze? I definitely need to see if that's keto probably not because it probably has sugar in it I just coated them in olive oil put a bunch of spices like salt and pepper and that balsamic glaze definitely helped to Kind of lessen the bitter taste. So if I can't have that balsamic glaze I'm definitely gonna have to find a substitute for that. I got a cucumber for any late night snacking um, This is pretty self-explanatory, but I just kind of cut it up and put a bunch of salt on it I love salt. I know it's bad for me, but I just love it. I probably have never bought a single lemon in my life, but I guess I forgot to order like a bunch of them because I think you add it to your cart, but you can add multiple to your cart if that makes sense. So I guess I didn't do that, but all my lemons and limes are definitely going bad right now. And of course I did the same thing for the lime. So we have one lime and one lemon. Great, great stuff. I got some Baby Bella sliced mushrooms. This is another vegetable that's really easy to prepare, just like salt, pepper, olive oil, other spices, and it's good to go. I'm really excited about these. These are low carb flour tortillas, and it says there's four net carbs in one tortilla. I love having taco night with Ryan, and I didn't want to take that out of my diet completely. Then I got some avocados, because these are really good for healthy fats. I just opened the last bag and without knowing, we saved the best for last because these are all the fun keto snacks and goodies. So let's start with this one. This is the Duncan Hines Keto Friendly um, birthday cake mix. So my understanding is that it's kind of like a cake in the mug kind of thing. It was like about $2.30 for just one. So I don't know, I feel like that was a little expensive, but I did want to try this because I want to see what it's all about. So I might have this for dessert tonight. Next, we have these Parmesan cheese crisps. And I feel like I've heard a lot of good things about this Wisps brand. It says you can have 23 crisps and it's one gram of carbs. So that's awesome. This is one of the snacks that came up when I typed in keto on Amazon Fresh. These are the almond flour crackers from Simple Mills. So go check out that brand. Um, I think they have a lot of like baking goods too. I got some miracle noodles and I've always wanted to try this. This actually feels disgusting and I've heard that it smells like fish. So it will be interesting to try this out. It's basically plant-based noodles and it's keto friendly, zero calories. I'm just very intrigued by this. I'm definitely gonna have to look up some recipes. Now we are getting into our baking stuff, which I'm really excited about because the first time I did keto, I was at home with my parents and I didn't really like buy my own groceries. Me and my mom just did keto. And so we didn't really like go ham on getting all like the baking ingredients or anything. But this time I really wanted to invest in myself because I feel like if I actually am able to bake sweet things and have dessert, I will prolong this keto journey, if that makes sense. You know, if I'm only eating vegetables, I'll probably want to cheat. So I got some Bob's Red Mill Coconut Flakes. These are unsweetened. Um, I just kind of like went through a bunch of recipes on Pinterest and saw what the main ingredients were. And one that I saw a lot was almond flour. So it's from the same company, Bob's Red Mill almond flour and this is a substitute for all-purpose flour. These are actually not for baking, these are just coconut chips. I've had coconut chips in the past and they are so good. Lastly, I bought some Nestle Toll House cocoa powder because I saw a lot of the recipes had some cocoa powder and I actually don't have any in my pantry. I just put all of the groceries away so now I wanted to get into what I got off of the original Amazon because some of the stuff just wasn't on Amazon Fresh. I ordered it all at the same time but obviously Amazon is going to take a bit longer. So some of the things are arriving later today and then 
Some of them are arriving on Monday. So I'll just read off to you guys what I got off of Amazon and I'll have the links all down below. Um, so starting with chocolate chips, I know a lot of the baking recipes called for Lily's dark chocolate chips, but I found some that were a lot cheaper, like so much cheaper. Um, they're called Choc Zero. No sugar added, um, keto friendly chocolate chips, and I was actually able to get milk chocolate, which obviously if I had the choice, I would definitely choose milk chocolate. So I got those, and then I got this sugar-free pancake syrup. I've been binge watching what I eat in a day, especially when they're keto. So I found out about this sugar-free or calorie-free, I don't know, calorie-free, I don't know. It's keto friendly, Walden Farms pancake syrup. Um, because I actually got some pancake mix, but I'll get to that later. I actually bought a couple different sugar substitutes because I feel like they do different things. So this one is Swerve and it is the confectioner sugar. So it's pretty much like powdered sugar. A lot of the recipes called for confectioner sugar. So I was just worried. I didn't want to get like the granular sugar and kind of make it like super weird. So I just ended up buying this Swerve um, and I've tried Swerve before. Um, when I was keto, I can't really remember how I liked it, but we'll see. I will definitely keep you guys updated, especially on my Instagram stories. So go ahead and follow me on my Instagram. It's so underscore gnarly without the G. Another sugar substitute that I got was the monk fruit sweetener. I actually got the golden and the classic. I think the golden is supposed to be like a substitute for brown sugar and obviously the classic is for white sugar. Um, and then another thing I got is coconut flour. I couldn't find that on Amazon Fresh. And like I've previously stated, this was um, in a lot of recipes that I've searched. I did get this pancake and waffle mix because I feel like on weekends, I always wanna go out to brunch. So I wanted to like satisfy that craving by having like a keto brunch in my own home. So we will see how that actually tastes, but I read their reviews also and it seemed pretty good. Lastly, I purchased Xanthum gum. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. From what I've read, it seems like this is a low carb thickener for protein shakes, smoothies, gravies, salad dressings, um, and a lot of baking recipes also called for this. So like I said, I went a little ham on the baking product, but I did wanna make sure that I was in it for the long haul. That wraps up this keto haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got some inspiration on what you guys can get, especially if you are a beginner in this ketogenic journey. Like I said, I'm gonna try to keep you guys updated on my IG story, so go ahead and follow me over there. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe and comment down below if you guys have tried the keto diet before or if you are currently doing it now. If you're currently doing it, let me know how many weeks you've been doing it for because I need all the motivation I can get. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.